esclavos de la guaje. No que aumento, aumento, nos pela la verga, los viagras, puros viagras. Era, era el viejo barbón, era. One fateful day, a group of sicarios from the Los Viagras cartel filmed themselves laughing at El Mencho, the leader of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, or CJNG. 24 hours later, the man filming was captured and killed in the most brutal way imaginable. The whole ordeal was filmed and posted online, becoming one of the most infamous CJNG videos to date. This story does not glorify cartels and their unspeakable brutality. What the CJNG did to this poor man is absolutely shocking and heartbreaking. And sadly, it's just a chapter in the seemingly endless book of cartel violence. The Mexican cartels are getting increasingly brutal toward their enemies. And now, they have social media and technology on their side. The CJNG films and post videos of their sicarios torturing their rivals just to spread fear and let everyone know that they are not to be messed with. But should these videos even be online when anyone can watch them? And what happened in the terrible CJNG membermint video? We'll explore these questions and many more in today's video. But before we go on, I must warn you, this video contains very graphic descriptions of torture and murder. Watch on at your own risk. We can't talk about today's topic without talking about the CJNG first. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel was formed in 2009 by ex-cop Nomicio Oseguera Cervantes, aka El Mencho. Indeed, Mexico's most wanted man was once a police officer, but it's safe to say his heart was never in it. As soon as he founded his cartel, he used all of his previous expertise to form an impeccable military-trained army. This meant that the CJNG conducted super-organized ambushes and attacks unlike other, more chaotic cartels. And with the money they made from drug trafficking, El Mencho and his men bought the biggest, loudest, and most terrifying military weapons they could find. And in July, footage emerged of that CJNG convoy. These gunmen call themselves the Elite Group and pledge allegiance to El Mencho. They're armed with assault rifles with grenade launchers attached to the barrel, heavy machine guns, and also this gun. This is a 50 caliber sniper rifle. It's a powerful weapon that the CJNG loves to show off. As soon as the CJNG took shape, crime in Mexico skyrocketed to unprecedented numbers. In 2017, the murder rate peaked at over 31,000 people, the worst year in recorded Mexican history. And as the government is desperately trying to control the situation, the notorious CJNG is only getting more violent. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel took the fight to the next level, shooting down a military helicopter with a rocket-propelled grenade. Tonight, the DEA is offering $10 million for information leading to the arrest of the Mexican kingpin known as El Mencho. CJNG's power snowballed as it grew its narcotics business. Soon, it was a weapon dealing, kidnapping, extortion, murder, and pretty much every crime and illicit business you can imagine. And the more businesses they control, the more violent they get. In fact, CJNG uses fear as its currency instead of bribes like the other cartels. By the late 2010s, it was clear that the Mexican government itself was a target of the CJNG. In fact, in Jalisco, they are very well consolidated as one group. And so that means that they can really put up really organized attacks against the Mexican government. And all that violence is only to have leverage in the negotiations with the um, government, with politicians, right? Sadly, the CJNG has such an aggressive tactic that the government is simply afraid of losing any more civilians' lives. So they just submit to the cartel and El Mencho's bloody desires. They create this chaos to, to, to go and sit with a local politician and say like, okay, do you want more or shall we negotiate this? Today, the CJNG is considered Mexico's bloodiest cartel. Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generación, CJNG, is the single criminal organization most responsible for these deaths on both sides of the border. It's also one of Mexico's most powerful cartels, alongside El Chapo's infamous Sinola cartel. Today, it controls a third of all drugs entering the U.S. And El Mencho ensures he stays at the top of his game by recruiting the worst people ever. The kind of people that would torture rivals and film it. 
One of the CJNG's enemy cartels is Los Viagras. They began as a self-defense force in 2014 after Michoacan former security commissioner Alfredo Castillo Cervantes asked them to assist in the efforts to arrest the leader of the Knights Templar cartel. When the authorities tried to dissolve the group, Los Viagras took control of the municipal presidency. A shootout ensued to evict them, and 10 civilians lost their lives in the process. Since then, Los Viagras has slowly expanded in the Michoacan region, and the center of their game is the meth trade. This puts them at great odds with the CJNG, who also smuggle meth in the same region. For almost a decade, CJNG and Los Viagras have been fighting to the death over territory, and some of these fights end up in the most brutal way imaginable. Trigger warning, the next few minutes will deal with the incredibly gruesome death of a Los Viagras member. If you don't want all the gory details, you can skip ahead two minutes. And even if you do want the gory details, I ask you not go looking for the actual video online. It is truly traumatizing to see the reality of such deaths, and it does no good whatsoever. That being said, let's move on. The video begins with a Los Viagra member, captured and chained by his neck. He is held in a torture chamber by two CJNG sicarios both wearing masks and combat vests and armed to their teeth. One of the men talks to the camera and says, I send my regards to all of you who keep acting out, especially you, Gordo and Chava. Look at how I got your people. Look at them. Is this what you all want? You do know him, yes? You better step up your game. By Gordo, he is referring to the Los Viagras kingpin, Nicolas Sierra Santana, AKA El Gordo. As he says these, the victim is heard in the background whimpering and pleading for his life, but by then, he probably knew there was no chance he was getting out alive. It's more likely he was pleading for a quick death, but that wasn't going to happen either. As soon as the CJNG Sicario stopped talking, he took out a large hunting knife and cut off the man's left leg at the knee. Then he beat the man with his own leg and mocked him for claiming to be tough before. As the victim cried and begged for him to stop, the Sicario replied, what do you mean no more? This one's for you, Chava, just so you can see how I have your people. Look at how I have them. Within a few seconds, the second leg came off. As he beat his victim with it, the man laughed on camera, urging El Chava to keep sending his men to Nueva Italia, where they found and kidnapped this victim. In the same manner, the Sicario proceeds to remove the man's both arms all the while laughing, mocking him for being a part of Los Viagras and threatening the cartel's bosses. The worst part? All the way until the very end, the victim is fully conscious. It's highly possible that the Sicarios pumped him full of bugs beforehand, making sure he felt every second of it. And this is not the only horrific detail. It's also unimaginable that someone could take pleasure in doing such a thing to another human being. The men are laughing as they completely butcher their victim in under three minutes. It's clear they have done this before, and they are completely desensitized to extreme violence. Not only do they not care for someone else's suffering, they are proud of their line of work. If prison wasn't a risk, they would probably show their faces on camera too. They feel no shame or remorse. They are true, real-life monsters. The video ends with a bit that the Sicarios filmed before killing their victim. The man is shown still fully clothed, talking about his regrets about joining Los Viagras. He says that the Los Viagras cartel is nothing and praises the CJNG. Of course, he was forced to say this. And what did this man do to deserve this? <laughs> Well, he just worked for the wrong people, in the eyes of El Mencho. What's truly heartbreaking is that this is one of many such videos. Several people lost their lives in unspeakable ways to the CJNG, simply for working for a different boss. Let's 
Around the same time as this member mint video, another video went viral, showing El Mencho's psycho clown army. This army, led by Fabian Urbino Morales, was responsible for one of the worst CJNG videos, where they skin their victim alive and offer him water as a joke. Honestly, the reality of the CJNG hitmen is much worse than horror movies. If you saw this in a movie, you'd think it was unrealistic. To think some people actually go through this. And by the 2010s, social media enabled the CJNG to share their most terrifying deeds. For them, it was a quick and easy way to spread their main message. Do not mess with us. However, this was damaging in many ways. As these videos were leaked on the dark web, several people, including kids and teens, got their hands on them. Imagine what this does to a young mind. This was the first gore video I ever saw. For weeks, I struggled to sleep at night. I'd hear the sounds of gurgling noises replay in my head. Sometimes, you forget that humans can be the scariest monsters that exist in real life. I remember watching this video as a child on an easily accessible gore site. I truly believe my ignorance and freedom as a child watching stuff like this is the reason for some of my problems and desensitized mind. Now, the CJNG isn't just terrorizing the people close to them, the rival Sicarios and the civilians who get caught in the shootouts. They also terrorize thousands of people online, spreading violence, fear, and trauma. Perhaps the worst thing about watching these sorts of videos is that people become desensitized to extreme violence. The more you watch, the less you care about suffering. This is how cartels recruit people. They find vulnerable teens from impoverished or drug-addicted families and force them into a life of crime. After murdering people in some ways, they become desensitized and commit ever more some murders. Eventually, they take pleasure in it too. Perhaps the real-life monsters who filmed the dismemberment videos were once vulnerable teens too, but they're too far gone to remember this. I can't stress this enough. Don't watch these videos. Don't become part of CJNG's horrible methods. Cartel torture videos only go to show the CJNG's philosophy, if one can call it a philosophy. Armencho sends this same message over and over again to all other cartels. Join me or die. You're either with me or against me. This is how, throughout the 2010s, the CJNG swallowed several smaller cartels and grew to Sinaola cartel level. But today, it seems like the same philosophy is bringing their demise. In the 2020s, the CJNG has been more preoccupied with its wars against rival cartels than with drug smuggling. The Sinaola cartel has the upper hand by far when it comes to actual illicit business. And even though Los Viagras, whose man the CJNG brutally killed, has the upper hand in their region. Despite numerous new generation attacks, Los Viagras and the Cartel del Abuelo were reported as having a profound advantage over new generation in Tierra Caliente. Perhaps killing everyone around you is not a good business tactic after all. And here's another catch. As of 2021, rumors of Almencho's death started circulating on the internet. So with all the rumors around Almencho being dead or very ill or out of the cartel, that started, I guess they started like around 2020 when people, st we, start we started reading about El Mancho being out of the Cartel Jalisco. Uh, I reached out to two middle range commanders inside the Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion. One of them believed that he was just literally just out of the cartel. He's, he's like, he's well, he's alive. He's just like stepped up or, or stepped out of the cartel. And the other guy believes that El Mancho is actually pretty ill or might even be dead. In 2020, it was reported that El Mancho suffered from kidney disease and had built his own private hospital to treat it. In February 2022, unconfirmed reports started popping up with even bigger news, that El Mencho died in hospital following a respiratory arrest. If this is true, the CJNG will do everything in its power to keep it hush-hush. If rival cartels know the CJNG has lost its feared boss, they will attack with confidence and reduce the once notorious cartel to ashes. As of 2023, it seems like the CJNG is indeed suffering, losing more and more battles against rival cartels. But even the CJNG will eventually lose its power. They have done a world of harm, killing thousands of people and spreading a message of fear and violence to millions of others thanks to the internet. Their horrifying videos might just inspire newer cartels to grow into even more violent enemies.
As always, thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on CJNG's methods, and how can we protect young people from coming across their nasty content? Let me know what you think in a comment. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.